What up, Facebook? We have a major fucking issue that I've about had enough of. I've seriously gotten sick of this shit. Like, and if you guys want to know what's going on, you know, these fucking record labels, you know, they keep running their goddamn mouths about me and don't know how to shut the fuck up and leave me alone. I'm getting fucking tired of getting bashed on by you record labels. You guys, everybody who wonders why I'm not signed to a record label at all, this is exactly why. These motherfuckers don't know how to shut their mouths and leave me the fuck alone. They just want to shut me down and bring me down. And I've about fucking had it. Because, you know, here I am doing my thing, trying to make an honest living. And they keep on running their damn mouths and don't know how to shut up. So, in response to you motherfuckers that keep running your mouths about me, here's this and what you say about me. You can take what you say about me and shove it up your fucking ass. Because I'm not going to stop doing music and I'm not going to stop until I get signed to a record label. Because, you know, ask anybody here, anybody, any of my friends, all my friends list who knows me, who knows my music, who knows what I do, they all feel the same way that even my own family feels. One, what you're doing is disrespectful and wrong on every fucking level. Two, they feel I deserve a chance. So my question to you is, why can't you look past my fucking looks and how I look and pay attention to what I have to offer and what I can bring to the table, huh? Why can't you motherfuckers do that? I'm getting tired of getting fucking ripped on by you guys. Because of y'all, it is super hard for me to get anywhere. I can't be successful because of you guys. Because of you fucking record labels that don't know how to shut your mouths and leave me alone. And, and instead of running your mouths, you know, you guys could sit there and, you know, help me out. No, I'm not rich. No, I don't have any money. But I can guarantee you one thing. You freaking sign me and I can promise you guys that I'll bring you guys hits. I'll bring a new style that you guys have never heard before. But no, instead of wanting to do that, you guys keep running your fucking mouths and I've about fucking had it. What you're doing is fucked up and wrong. You sit there all high and mighty acting like you guys aren't doing a damn thing wrong. Well, newsflash fuckers, you guys are ripping on me and telling other labels behind my back to not sign me because of how I look and because of the fact that I've got the balls to call you out. Because I have the balls to fucking confront your asses on what you're doing. If you guys think I'm just going to lay here and take that shit, you're sadly mistaken. See, I'm a serious music artist. I'm a music artist and a producer. So I work with both sides. But instead of letting me show you that, you guys say, hey, you know, we don't like how you look, so why sign you? And see, that's just it. That's what labels focus on, Greg, our pretty faces instead of talented. Instead of looking at the person's talent, all you motherfuckers do is say, oh, this guy looks different, or this person looks different, so we're not going to sign him because we feel he's not going to make it. Well, here's a newsflash for you guys. For every single one of you guys who are ripping on me out there, I'm getting tired of your damn mouths. And here's a little newsflash for you. I'm one of the hardest working artists that you will ever come across. I have been working my ass off since 2010. I have worked my ass off to get where I'm at. No, I don't have money. Yes, I live at home to help take care of my mom who's disabled. 
So fucking what? I'm a music artist. I can work from home. I can do shit that I need to do from home. But in order to be successful, instead of you guys ripping on me, I need you guys to fucking help me. Instead of fucking sitting there, running your mouths, and bashing on me. Why don't you take that shit that you're talking, shove it up your ass, and come back to me properly. And everybody's always asking, you know, why do I need a label to be successful? Well, reason why, I don't have the business skills or knowledge like a lot of these record labels have to be able to market my stuff correctly. I don't have that knowledge. I never got the chance to take business classes and marketing classes back in high school because my schedule at that time would not allow for me to do that. As much as I wish I could have, I wasn't able to. And no, I didn't graduate high school because of how fucked up the, you know, the school system is here. And I wasn't able to get my GD because around here you sadly have to pay for the classes, which I don't have money for. I don't have money for that shit. But you know what? I don't let that stop me. I keep pumping out music every single fucking day. You can ask any motherfucker here. They will all tell you the same thing. I deserve a shot. I deserve to be signed. Ask anybody here. They'll tell you the exact same thing. Looks shouldn't mean a damn thing. What you guys need to focus on is the fucking talent that people like me bring to the table. Alright? I've been working my ass off every day of my life since 2010. Since 2010, I've been doing this shit. I've worked my ass off to establish myself and establish the awesome fan base that might not be the biggest in the world, but I've still got a good sized fan base. I have the most dedicated and the most loyal and awesome fans that I could ever ask for. And yeah, it might not be a big fan base, but it's a start. So for you fuckers out there sitting there running your mouths, saying that I'm not good enough to make it, well, guess what? Here's my answer to you. Because I'm not stopping. And I'm not going to be taking any more of this shit. Y'all need to fucking shut your damn mouths about me and stop judging me by my looks and start judging me by my skills and the music that I put out. Every person here knows that if they could buy my work, they would. Ask any person here that is watching this. Any of these guys in the comments will tell you the same thing. I deserve a shot. So why don't you guys stop running your mouths and give me a chance to show you what it is exactly that I can do. Why don't you guys take me on and sign me and help me make the money that I need to make for you guys. Yeah, I might not be able to play shows. I might not be able to do a whole lot. But gee, I wonder why that is. Because you guys don't know how to shut your mouths and stop running your mouths saying because I look different, nobody will sign me or you guys won't sign me. Well, guess what? Every person here thinks differently. Y'all need to stop this shit. Every day, I put in work. Every day, I work my ass off. You want to know what I do every single day? Every single day, I go to sleep. I wake up. I grab my coffee. I eat breakfast. And I sit down and I put in work. I might not always post up my music tracks all the time. But I'm always doing something musically. Always. That's how dedicated I am. Every single day of my life since 2010, I have dedicated my life to making music. I have dedicated my life to doing what I do now. Every single day, I have not stopped. And believe it or not, a lot of people like what I do. Whether you guys like it or not, that's not for you to decide. 
whether I make it in the music industry or not, that's not for you guys to decide. What's for you guys to decide is basically nothing. You don't control me. You don't control what I put out. Your job as a record label is to not control me, but to back me up and help me be successful. That's your job, is to take me on and support me and help me make the money that I need to make so I can be successful and take care of my family. Because one thing that my boy Soldier Heart always says that I live by, free never paid the bills. I got miles to feed. And that's totally true. And what he means by that is free never got anybody anywhere. Alright? I don't do shit for free. Yes, getting signed to a record label is supposed to be free. The payments you guys take out, I should get more than what you guys make. Like, let's say I make $1,000 off of one CD. You guys take 30% of that, I get the rest. That's how it should work. But y'all motherfuckers got the game twisted up and so screwed up that nobody's willing to do a damn thing. And y'all sit there and wonder why independent record labels are so successful and why record labels that are independent make the most money and why they're so successful. It's because they know how to run the business properly. They know what true talent is. They know what it takes to be successful. But y'all mainstream motherfuckers obviously don't have a damn clue. And quite frankly, I'm getting tired of the trash talk. I've about fucking had it. It's record labels like you guys who are bashing on me that make me fucking sick to my stomach. Everybody deserves a chance. Including people like me. But what do you do? You sit there and judge us. You sit there and bash on us and say that we're not good enough. You sit there and say that we would never make it. Well, guess what? I guarantee you, you give me the fair chance that I deserve, and you guys sign me, and I'll show you what I'm made of. I'll show you what I can do, and what I have to offer, and what I can bring to the table. So... If you guys want this bullshit to stop, I suggest you stop running your mouths about me and take me on and sign me and let me show you what I can do instead of bashing on me and putting me down. And you guys wonder why I get so pissed off at you guys for what you do? It's because you guys sit there and rip on me for no good reason. You guys don't have that right to rip on me. You guys don't know what I had to go through my entire life to get where I'm at. I never had any money. I never had the luxury of doing stuff that I wish I could have. And that's not my fault. I don't have the luxury of paying a venue to perform. I don't have the luxury to pay my way into a record label. I don't have that luxury. I'm not rich. I don't have any money. All I have are my fans and my music. That's all I have. And a lot of them can't even afford to buy my music because of how tough times are. You guys really don't understand how hard things are for me. Every day I wake up, I put in work on top of taking care of my mom who is severely disabled. Every day I put in work on top of taking care of her. And we just barely give by on bills. Literally. We're lucky if we make a couple hundred a month. We're lucky if we just barely make the electric and the internet bill. 
That's how poor we are. But unless you guys give me the chance that I need to turn that around for my family so my family can make it without having to worry, you know, how am I supposed to help them? Seriously, how am I supposed to do anything when all you guys do is sit there and bash on people like me? Yes, I'm special needs. Yes, I have stuff wrong with me physically, future-wise. But that doesn't stop me. That doesn't stop me from putting out the music that I put out. That doesn't stop me from, you know, doing what I do best, which is rocking the stage and putting in work. Yes, I perform shows live on Facebook live streams. But guess what? That's because I don't have any other choice. I don't have the luxury of playing at a venue or getting out and doing what I want. I don't have that luxury, but I make do with what I got. So instead of sitting there and ripping on me, like you guys do and putting me down and constantly bashing me and running your mouths to other record labels. Understand my situation. Try to understand where I'm coming from and try to take a walk in my shoes and see what it's like to be me for a day. And, you know, like I said, you guys can ask anybody. And I mean anybody who's ever heard my music or heard my work and what I release. They enjoy my work. Because I work my ass off every single day. Yeah, I might not have the most likes on Facebook. Yeah, I might not have, you know, the most subscribers on YouTube or anything like that. But you know what? Every single person that listens to my stuff means the world to me. Yes, I have a few famous friends, both music-wise and athlete-wise, but you know what? Every single time I talk to them, and any single time that I talk to any of my friends who know my work, or even if they don't know my work and I'm just explaining to them what I do. You know, they support me every single time. Because believe it or not, just recently, you know, I've told three people who I've grown up watching. Including, well actually I made that four. There's four people that I idolize highly who I look up to, even to this day, who I grew up watching on TV. And you know who those people are? Who three of those four people I actually have on my friends list. And you know who those three people are? Which it's honestly a shock even to me that it's actually them. But I've got Dean Ambrose, Randy Orton, and Seth Rollins. Every time I talk to those guys, they're the nicest people ever. And you know what? They keep on pushing me every single day. Because last night, actually just a little bit ago, I was talking to Dean and honestly, he's honestly the nicest dude ever. I actually got the chance to sit down and video chat with him for a little bit. And he's honestly one of the nicest people I could have ever met. And you know what he said to me? Keep on pushing. Never look back. Never give up on what you want to do. Those are his exact words to me. And you know what? That coming from somebody like that, who is a major superstar, who takes the time out to talk with his fans and help them out, those are the type of people that you guys need on your record label musically. Because my good friend Mitch Lucker, the original frontman for the heavy metal band Suicide Silence, 
he always made time for his fans. Like, every time I was going through a situation, you know, I would always talk to him on Twitter. I would message him and be like, hey, you know, like, can we, you know, talk? And, you know, he sat down and talked with me and helped me through my problems. He doesn't see himself as a huge superstar. He saw himself as a person who wants to help his fans. And yeah, without my fans, I wouldn't be anything. So I appreciate every single one of my fans and every single person that listens to my music. And yes, I've gotten major respect art-wise for some major names like Jason David Frank, who played the original Green and White Ranger. Yes, I've gotten props from him on my artwork. I even got the fucking screenshots of what he said on his fan page. And, you know, getting props from major people like that is a huge deal to me. Because that makes me feel like I can keep going. Every single day I give props from somebody that I look up to. You know, that reminds me every day that I've got to keep on the grind. That i got to keep on going. And I put in work every day. I work my butt off every day for you guys. And any fan here can tell you the exact same thing. I might not always post up all my music online, but, you know, the point being, I'm one of the hardest working artists that you will ever come across. I will tear down an entire beat, I will tear down an entire song or instrumental and rebuild it back up as many times as I have to to get it right. Unlike half your little fake ass artists out there, I'm honest. I'm for real. And I don't, you know, lie about what I do. Ask any of my fans. They can tell you the exact same thing. I've gone through a lot more shit than most could ever even imagine. Because let me tell you something. When I was born, I wasn't supposed to live. I wasn't supposed to survive. The day I was born was supposed to be the day that I die. I was born one pound 15 ounces. I wasn't supposed to live. But yet here I sit on this live stream right now talking to you. Yes, I was born with medical problems. But, you know, you record levels that are bash on me because of that stuff. You guys need to stop that and look past all that. Look past all the bullshit. Look past all the looks and how I look physically. And start looking at my skills and what I have to offer you. I can offer you guys a lot more than you guys give me credit for. You guys don't think that I can make it. But you know what? Every time I do a live performance on Facebook, which is pretty much my stage, every time I perform, I feel like being on stage is where I belong. I am at my best when I'm performing. And you want to know why? It's because I love seeing the reaction of a crowd. I love seeing my fans love what I do. I love seeing that smile on somebody's face who gets to see me. I appreciate all the fans that I have. I really do. Everybody that supports me, you know, like it means the world to me. So instead of you guys, you know, bashing on me, Think about what I told you. Seriously. Think about what I told you and what I just spoke about and take that into consideration. Because like I said, I'm one of the most hardworking artists that you could ever come across. Every day I'm always doing something musically. 
yes, I might take breaks here and there, but that's very rare that I take breaks. You can ask anybody here. 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm always working on something musically. I'm always putting out something about my music. It might not always be a music track, but I'm always doing something. And you want to know why? Because every person in this live stream and on my friends list believes in me. They believe in what I can do. So before you go running your mouth to me again like that, take a look at this live stream and think about it. Think about what you've done. Think about how bad you've made people like me feel who truly deserve a shot. Because nobody deserves to be put down like that. Nobody. So for you guys to sit there and do that, that's not right. It needs to stop. As I said, I might not be rich. I might not have any money, but you know what? I have the most dedication and the most hard work to put out. I am the hardest working artist that you could ever come across. And with that being said, I hope you think about what you said. So guys, with that being said, I am going to end this live stream right here. What I need you all to do, I need you to share this around to everybody that you can. I want this live stream to be everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I want people to know. I want people to know my story and about what I'm being put through by these guys. So if you guys can, please share this to everyone you know. And as I always say, you know, like if you guys know anybody that's willing to take me on at all whatsoever, you know, point them in my direction or send me to them. So please, guys, I'm asking you, not only as a, you know, a music artist, but as a friend, as a family member, as a brother, please share this live stream around. Let people know about my story. Let people know what's going on. Because stuff like this needs to be put to a stop. You know, the whole bashing because of how you look thing, it needs to stop. I want to prove these record labels wrong and get signed and show them that no matter how you look, no matter how small, how tall, what shape or size you are, you can make it. And I want to prove that to these labels. But the only way I can do that is with your help. That's the only way I can do that is with your guys' help. So please, guys, share this live stream around, please. Let people know. Let them know about my story. Let these record labels know what's really going on. So, you know, like, and the reason why I urge you guys to share this live stream around that's because, like I said, I want to prove to these labels that I have what it takes to make it. Because, like I said, every time I do a performance, you know, on live streams like this, you know, I feel like I'm at my best. Yeah, you know, outside of that, you know, I work my butt off and whatnot on my music. But honestly, I get the most enjoyment out of being on stage and performing for my fans and friends. Like, you know, I get the most enjoyment out of performing for these guys because I know that there's one person out there always who enjoys what I do, who sees my performance and it helps them out. You know, being on stage is where I want to be. Yeah, I might be nervous as fuck at first, but you know something?
there's no place I'd rather be than being on that stage performing for every person here live. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to hop off here. Um, as I said, guys, please share this live stream around to everybody you can. Put my story out there. Let people know what's going on. And with that being said, guys, this has been Chance, also known as Shadowblade, and I'm out of here. Peace.